In this lesson, we're going to look at calculating the length of the hypotenuse. So in this example, uh, I need to calculate the length of AB. So AB squared will be equal to the sum of the other two squares. In other words, BC squared plus AC squared. Now I need to substitute in some values. Well, BC is 6 and AC is 8, so stick those in. And 6 squared, well, that's 36. 8 squared is 64. So I end up with AB squared equal to 36 plus 64. 36 plus 64, well, that's 100. So now that I'm at this stage, I need to find the square root. So AB is equal to the square root of 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So AB is 10 centimeters. On to the second example. And here we have another example where we need to find the hypotenuse DF. So DF squared will be equal to EF squared plus DE squared. Substitute in those values. Well, EF, that's 5, and DE is 12. We know that 5 squared, well, that's 25, and 12 squared is 144. And if we add those together, we get that DF squared is 169. Now, if you need to use a calculator at this point, that's fine. Um, but it's a good idea to know that the square root of 169 is 13. So DF is 13 centimeters. On to the next example, and this time I have to find the missing length X. So X squared will be equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. 9 squared, well that's 81, and 12 squared, 144. So X squared is 225. Now at this stage again, I need to find the square root. So X is the square root of 225. So X is 15 centimeters. And on to the next example, and this time we need to find the missing length d. Well, d squared will be equal to 8 squared plus 10 squared. 8 squared is 64, and 10 squared is 100. So we get that d squared is 164. Now we need to calculate the square root. So d is the square root of 164, and you will need a calculator this time. It works out that D is 12.8 centimeters when we round it to one decimal place. 